Today we're trying grilled eel at a restaurant that's been open for over a hundred years. We also take a stroll nearby at Narita San Park and dig into street food. Walking down Nakamachi, there are many places to eat unagi, eel. How does one decide? Why do you like this place the most? Look at this, how they... Uh, wow! We appreciate how this shop prepares their eel in the public eye. Kawatoyo it is. We order and pay first, cafeteria style. Remember to bring cash. Upon payment, we're given tickets for each item ordered. Fried eel bones for sale! We have the option for western style seating or taking off our shoes and sticking our legs through holes in the raised floor. An info sheet sits on each table. Let's study it. This restaurant has been open for more than a hundred years? Wowza! For quality control purposes, the eel sauce is not put on the table. Once each dish is served, our tickets are torn in half. Looks like a pink straw on top of the egg, but I do believe it's a bamboo shoot. Look at that beauty! Like the sun over ocean waves and light reflecting off a disco ball, the grilled eel glistens shamelessly. For an indefinite amount of time, I've been longing to try this dish and it's finally within arm's reach. Let's try just the eel with that rice. The sauce is a little sweet. The eel itself, there's some sort of bitterness. There's quite a lot of fish bone in that. So chew enough and take your time. Ow. We share a box of eel because we'll be filming more food videos after this. Now that bite didn't have the bitterness I had in the first bite. The eel definitely tastes like flames touched it. It tastes grilled. At first, it seemed like a lot of rice compared to the eel served, but you'll definitely need that rice to balance out the flavors. Before it cools down, let's try some miso soup with carp. I'm sick right now, so my taste buds are not working 100%, but I can tell that's pretty salty. There's some bones in this, so you gotta be a little cautious. The fish balances out the saltiness. Crunchy crunch? Uh -huh. It's a crunchy crunch. Mm -hmm. It's a crunchy kind of crunch. <laughs> they give us two slices. One for mommyo and one for babyo. It's slightly salty. It is like cucumber, crunch crunch. <laughs> Yes, it's a crunchy crunch. It's on the bland side. Mm -hmm. That one feels like no salt at all. We got another side order of pickles. I'm curious about this. It was something spicy about that one. I think there's a pepper in the middle. Mm, that one is very chilly and refreshing. Here we have radish also cold and bland. It's a good thing. I think it's time to try the egg. There's something inside the egg. Oh, there is eel in that. Fish bone. There's bones. That's the small bones. The egg itself is mildly sweet. The time has come. We shall try the half pink bamboo shoot. Mamio takes a bite and wrestles a bit to make a full cut. Tug of war vibes. That is how you eat it, right? <laughs> <laughs> Food drama. Salty and sour. <laughs> Salty and sour. Oh, it's pickled. Yeah. <laughs> wow, very gingery. It's a ginger explosion. Fireworks. It's like EDM in the mouth. What was your favorite thing you ate here? Cucumber radish. <laughs> what? <laughs> I just noticed on the walls, there are hangers of blankets. We cleaned up pretty good. We have a second floor. And look at how steep these stairs are. If you have basketball player feet, you have to go on your tippy toes as you go up. We are curious about this. It looks like balloons. You pop it with a needle. We have a toothpick. 
Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> so is it edible outside? Nah. Uh, I don't think we can eat the outside. I think that's a legit balloon. Ah, and then like this. Oh. Ooh. Wow. It's a pudding. Mina, you try. <laughs> wow. <laughs> you try first. Ooh, we hear the music in the background. Sweet pudding. Where is that coming from? Oh, that pimple is distracting me. I'm sure it's distracting you guys too. <laughs> 3D Photoshop. Thanks for covering my pimple. Mmm, <laughs> it's light. But you still are satisfied. <laughs> when I got a bite of that, I was imagining a hopping bunny. Thankfully, it's no longer rainy, and if you listen closely to the trees, it sounds like they're trying to talk to you, trying to say something to you, something wise. Yeah. <laughs> you look like a pixie. <laughs> what a lovely day. Some say sunny days are lovely. Gray skies are lovely to us. Visitors gather water from the dragon's mouth and let it trickle down the ladle's handle. I'm not sure why, but hot dog is written on the stone. A rock in the shape of a turtle has real turtles on it. Relatively speaking, these turtles have stronger arms than me. They rock climb every day. Work that booty. burning and my headache is back <laughs> wow look at how these branches droop down in a circular motion kind of like cartoon clouds it's a dragon underneath uh, right outside the temple they have macadamia nuts macadamia nuts hey. Almond. Almonds in the shell. Collagen almond. Yeah. Mm, collagen? Collagen almond, mm. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Add something. An upper layer of this cake curves down, and I am intrigued. Matcha bread! We're going to lunch soon, so I will keep my taste buds calm. Did your phone battery die and you're bored? Not to worry, the bathroom wall here is adorned with Lilo and Stitch stickers. They'll keep you company. It was my first encounter with this type of toilet. Turns out the top is a sink. This toilet sink combo is space saving and ideal for small bathrooms. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Anybody know what this is? It's a mystery to me. A fragrant scorched part taste rice cracker. An ass-kicking hot red pepper paste rice cracker. The soy sauce flavor rice crackers on which seaweed was wound. It was hurt. Wow, look at the textures on that. Looks like contemporary art. All these descriptions are pretty awesome. Taste of pungently painful red pepper. <laughs> That's a whole chestnut. The lady just cut open the side. It's a yoga. 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 Hi. Yeah. Looks like an egg yolk. You like um, chestnut? Oh, it's a small. <laughs> oh, it's just a one little slice. Yeah. <laughs> it's a very smooth block of um. My oh, that's a red bean, isn't it? Yeah. Not too sweet. Mm. You know you try. Hmm. Mm. Definitely wanted to eat some rice with that. Meow, 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 meow. Oh, look at these chopsticks! Animal heads on the top. These chopsticks look drunk. They're curving back and forth. There's so many kinds of chopsticks. Some of them are ten dollars. Others are fifty and up. Tada! Chopstick holders. Look at the bun on those bunnies. Mommy o booty. The end. Hit that subscribe button if you haven't already for food and travel in Korea. Be sure to check out my other channel, Sweet and Tasty TV. See you guys next week. Bye bye!